This video is about how to install Windows 10 64-bit into VirtualBox. First I'm going to review the Windows 10 download page. I'm not going to download the ISO file that's required, but just kind of show you where the download page is and then you'll have to arrange that download yourself. Then I'm going to create a virtual guest for Windows 10, install the Windows 10 and virtual guest, and finally install VirtualBox guest editions in Windows 10. The requirements, VirtualBox installed on your OS or operating system, an internet connection, a Windows 10 ISO file, along with the licensing, a Windows 10 minimum guest requirements, 1 GHz processor, 2 GB random access memory, 20 GB storage hard disk space, and 800 by 600 pixel display. Now when I created this video, I found that I had to add additional memory and I also add an additional processor to make Windows 10 64-bit run smoothly in VirtualBox. And here's some pages. This is the download Windows 10 and then this is the Windows 10 system requirements page. And while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there, so I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. This is the Windows 10 download page, how it would look if you were trying to download from a Windows 10 computer. Before you can download something from this page, or actually before you can run Windows 10, you need to have a license key. I'm not going to download anything here, but this is the page that you would go to to get your ISO file. The section that you would want to look at is using the tool to create installation media. I would click that and it gives all kinds of directions there and the correct media to download. If you want to go and actually download it, you would have to click the download tool right here and then save the file. As I stated, I'm not going to do that because I've already got it downloaded and Microsoft, what it does, it changes your license requirements depending on what operating system you're running currently and also the look of this page. For example, if I were running a Linux computer, download page would look like this and you would have to select whichever edition you would want. In the next section, I will create a virtual guest to run Windows 10. As I stated previously, you'll have to download and create your ISO file yourself because there are just too many different ways this can go wrong and it's very difficult to show using a video. Here I am at the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and I'm going to create a virtual guest to run Windows 10 in. So I would just simply go click over here where it says New and I'm going to call it Win 10 64 because I have a 64-bit Windows 10 ISO file. Type Microsoft Windows, Windows 10, 64-bit. Click Next. And if you recall that the minimum RAM is 2048, if you have more to give it, I would recommend giving it more. Click Next. Create a virtual hard disk. And it says the recommend size of the hard disk is 32 gigabytes. And that would be fine as far as I'm concerned because the minimum, I believe, was 20. Create. And I'm going to click VHD because internally I, I run it a little bit differently. But I would recommend, because if you're just using VirtualBox, I would recommend VDI. Click Next. And dynamically allocated is the best way to run it a virtual machine if you're concerned about hard drive space. If you're concerned about speed and you would go with fixed size. Click Next, 32 gigabytes and I'm going to click Create. Now there's some items I want to change here. I want to go to System and if you've got some extra processors I'd give it an extra processor. I'm just going to leave it at one because I'm doing a minimum installation. Acceleration Enable VTX AMD V should be checked so that everything is okay here. Display. Here we are at 128 megabytes of video memory. I'm going to enable 2D video acceleration. Do not check enable 3D acceleration. I use this for Linux and 2D video acceleration for Windows machines. I'm going to click OK. And storage. 
here I have a SATA controller and empty. I'm going to click on empty. Now this is where I'm going to go pick up the ISO file. And I'm simply going to click right here, choose virtual optical disk file or the ISO file. And in my case it's located on volume 2F, videos, projects, videos, Windows VM, Win 10, install, Win. But wherever you've got it located, that's where you're going to have to choose it. Click Open. Click OK. And now I'm ready to start. Here I am in the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. And I've got the Win 10 guests set up to start for the first time. And I'm going to install Windows 10 in this Win 10 64 guest. Right click here. And I'm going to do a normal start. We're just going to let it start. Now you'll get some notes here. Virtual machine reports that the guest operating system supports a mouse pointer integration. I'm just going to click close right here. And you can change your language to install time and currency format and the keyboard input and click next and then click install now now since this is going to be a first install it says if you're reinstall select I don't have a product key and I'm going to install this as a virtual guest and this is the choice that you're going to have to make and then activate Windows after it's installed I don't have a product key I've got Windows 10 Pro as my choice that's fine. Click Next. Accept the license term. Click Next. And then I'm going to go to Custom Install. Let me go back there a second. The reason for Custom Install is there is no Windows version on this. That's the one that you're going to have to choose. The other is an upgrade. Drive Zero, Unallocated Space. That's fine. Click Next. And now is the time for you to go get a cup of coffee and let Windows do its work. I'm not going to go through this and uh, make you watch this whole video as it installs. But any screen that requires a decision to be made, I'll come back to it. Finally, I'm here at installing updates. And now I'm at finishing up. And we're going to let Windows restart to continue. Or... I could click the Restart Now button. You'll notice it says press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Just leave it alone. So finally you have a screen that says Get Going Fast. And I'm going to simply use the Express settings. And again, it's going to take a while for this to... It's going to take a while to get your critical updates, especially if you have an older ISO, which I do. Again, press any key to boot, just let it work by itself. Back at the just a moment. Okay, so now we have who owns this PC. My work or school owns it, or I own it. I'm going to click I own it because it's my virtual guest. Click Next. Now it asks you to use your Microsoft account. I kind of bypass that because I don't want Microsoft to have all this information coming off this machine and getting passed into Microsoft. So I s simply come down here where it says skip this step. And who's going to own this PC? And I'm going to put down my name and I'm going to put in a password. You should always use a password. A hint is required. I'm going to give it a hint. And that should be enough of a hint for me. You should probably put in a word. Some of my family members have lost their passwords and then they ask me to go back and fix their machines. But make sure you have enough of a hint to be able to guess your password. Then click Next. And I believe at this point this just a moment is going to be playing for quite a while and I'll come back when it's 
we get something interesting. Here we go. And you'll notice that the virtual guest does not cover the whole screen. I'm going to change that with VirtualBox Guest Edition. Now we have a question about networks. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? We recommend allowing this on your home and work networks, but not public ones. I'm going to click Yes. That's pretty much it for installing Windows 10. But there's still some items that have to be done. Getting all your updates and installing VirtualBox Guest Editions. Here Windows 10 is open and up comes this sign says an update's required. I'm simply going to close it because Windows 10 updates take a long time and I want to install VirtualBox Guest Editions and actually make this take up the whole screen. So I go up here where it says Devices and Insert Guest Edition CD Image. I'll wait a second or two and sometimes I've found that I've had to click it twice to make this happen. Well, I waited too long. Or I can go right here. Or I can click it again. Insert Guest Editions Image and click it, try to choose what happens with this disk. And then we've got the CD drive. Well, I didn't get the choice there. I just ha Everything's happening too quick here, so I'm just simply going to go right here. And this PC, VirtualBox Guest Editions, open it. And it says VBox Guest Editions AMD 64. That's for a 64-bit Windows Editions. I'm going to click on this one. And you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC. Click Yes. And then Next. And I accept the default destination folder. Click Next. Start menu entries. Direct. And I'm going to click Install and let it go about its business. And you can leave this clicked or not. It's up to you. I'm going to click Install and it says Always Trust Software from Oracle Corporation. Basically if you don't leave it clicked it's going to have to come up a couple of times. I'm going to click Install and so you're going to have to reboot. Click Finish And up comes the Windows screen. Log in. And it's going to take a minute or two, second or two, for this screen to expand to take up the whole screen. There we go. And now it gives you messages about OneDrive. Now there's a problem here. Normally this should cover the entire screen. I'm going to restart this. So finally I've got, uh, basically it looks like I'm going to need some more, uh, actually I'm going to need a little more memory. Shut down. And I'm going to give it a little more memory. Go to System. And 2048. And we'll give another gigabyte of memory, 3072. Maybe give it a little another processor, click OK. Then start it again. It should be OK now. So now I have Windows 10 installed and it's working. I guess. VirtualBox Guest Editions just kind of required a little more memory to get everything working. Or it may simply be the first time. So you would go to your settings now and Windows and Update and Security and you would check for updates. It says no updates are available. That's because that's how Windows operates. Let it work automatically there. And activation, unable to reach Windows activation servers. That's a typical Windows message. 
and you might want to go and change a product key and give it a product key and you might want to go to activate you'll have to play around with Windows I've had to also actually make a phone call to window and prove to them that uh, I have a, had a valid Windows license to get it to activate they make you put in some digits and things like that uh, this is an automatic answering service so that's pretty much it for installing Windows 10 into VirtualBox. Thank you.